Alrighty. We're getting ready. We're starting soon. The weather has changed outside. My sinuses are killing me. <laughs> Temperature dropped by, what, 15 degrees, I, I say? Maybe? Maybe a little bit more than that. Hey, everybody, I'm Superback Jr. Welcome to my channel here on Twitch. It is a nice balmy, what, 62 degrees outside here in South Florida. And uh, like I said, it's like it's like really slow rain. It just drizzles hours on end. And it kicks up everything in the air. And it everyone's sinuses around here is just like, oh my god. Thank you so much. What the hell was that back there? Okay, I have no idea. You know what? <laughs> we're gonna figure it out when we go into the ads here. We're gonna play some Lunar the Silver Star once again. It's day ten. Day ten, and we're gonna find out if we can get to that red dragon's cave. We have to use the raindrops, the, the rain cloud, to you know, cool off the lava because you know that always works. I mean, how how hot can lava be? Maybe just you know at least eighty degrees, maybe. I don't know. Uh, and we're going to go on from there. We might even run into a red dragon. That'd be kind of cool. Here on this 90-minute stream, we're going to kind of wrap up a little early tonight because it's just happened to be one of those nights. But first, but first, but first, we have some ads to run. A three-minute ad break. And then we're going to get underway with the game. So don't you go away. We'll be right back. See you in a bit. I see there's a fail to load module. <laughs> okay. Let's see what is that. That, that must, must be the alerts. It is. General alerts. Okay. I saw that in multiple screens. So. That's not a perfect start, but hey, it's a start. as everything else comes crashing around me. Uh, if you are subscribed, you can obviously hear me. Do MMOs count? Sure, any role-playing game. Any role-playing game. Notice I did not specify Japanese role-playing game, computer role-playing game, multi-massive online, anything. Because I will tell you my answer when we come back to the end. This is I get the game all set up. But it's a, it's a fair question, I think. Is that RuneScape? Okay, that's a good answer. Nearly two years total across 17 years. Okay, wow, that's a lot of years. That's a lot of time. Most, most games are measured in hours, sometimes even days. But uh, we don't see too many of them in years. But uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I, you know, it's funny, I've heard of RuneScape for quite some time, but I've never played it. So, um, I must look into that. Because I was never really in the, you know, in the computer game so much. 20,000 plus hours. Holy cow, that's a lot. That is a lot. When, uh, like, for my experience with role-playing games, because I, I was familiar with role-playing games well into the early 90s. In fact, I will even go back as far as the 80s. Um, not, you know, of course Zelda and all that. Yeah. But uh, talking about like some of the other games like Star Tropics, um, Crystallis, some really good games out there. Nine seconds, oh my goodness. It's time to get ready. It's time to get ready. Hey, there we are. We're back. 
Uh, we have a pin question for this uh, particular stream, and that is, and I, ha I see the general alert is not coming up, so let's see, make sure that it actually does indeed come up. Because I do see a chicken dance, hopefully it will start coming up. Because that module, I think, failed to load. I got a fart reverb a couple of days ago, that I see, but okay. Chicken dance! Cluck, cluck, cluckety, cluck, 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 cluck. <laughs> hey, Scroll, how you doing? Yeah, I think the general alerts are not working properly because I saw that there was a module that failed to load. Let me see if I can get up real fast. Real fast. Okay, and alerts. I say alerts. Okay. Well, it's actually showing up now, so hey. We'll try that again later. Let's see if I can run it real fast, real fast. I'll hit my little happy face. There's a fan. Check a dance. Redeem. Go. I say go. I say ah, forget it. Well, good news is my ears will be saved. The bad news is you just uh, got to see if I can refund you 250 if I can. Because mine's not going. Because of course not. All right, well, let's turn back on the <laughs> doohickey here. How you doing, Scroll? Welcome to the chat. Where's my techno chicken? I'm I'm looking for it, Scroll. I, th I think it ran under the bed. Hang on for just a second. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get it up there. Okay, dashboard. What the hell, dudes? Can't we just get things done the first time round. That's all I ask for. Okay, where the hell are my extensions? Ah, it's not showing up. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can load it manually. This, this, this will take a take a quick moment. Okay, it's activated. But it didn't load. Oh well. Sorry about that. Oh my goodness. Here's my contribution to the Techno Chicken Dance Repair Fund. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man. You know, I'm. You know, I I realized that uh, part of the problem is it's just simply the lack of RAM that I have on my computer. I only have, believe it or not, eight gigs of RAM. This the computer was not designed for this kind of thing. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? Who? Who's responsible for this? Scroll. Oh, thank you again for the bits there. Thank you so much. 200 bits. Appreciate it. That worked like heck. <laughs> worked like heck, Twitch. Yeah. I'm not sure why this is doing this. Oh, my goodness. Thank you very much for another 100 bits. Appreciate it, Scroll. Uh, I better get into the game now. I was actually going to see if I can jumpstart uh, the sound alerts, but nothing's working. Okay, sound alerts. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Open dashboard. I thought I did already, but no. You just want to go sit there and go... Bleh. Okay, hang on. Yes, logging with Twitch. Thank you. Like, like I've never been here before. Hmm? Okay. Well, hmm. Hmm. What's new? You're not working. That's what's new. All right. Yes, yeah, shows that you did that. Let me see if I can replay the alert. It's queued. And you're not doing anything. You don't like me anymore. You just don't like me anymore. I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken, sound alerts. I went out of my way to put you up there. You're just going to sit there and do nothing. Fine. You'll show me. What the hell is this thing? 50, 50, 50s. You know what? I'm looking for it right now, and I don't even see it. Channel points. There you are. Okay. There's a the cantina. There's a the chicken dance. All right. Test and browser source. Here we go. 
and I don't see it. I don't hear it. It's not there. You don't love me anymore. I understand. Is it going to be this way from now on? Fine. <laughs> the latest app works on mobile. Got to check for updates. Yeah, sorry about that. I had the same problem last week. I had to stop and restart my stream. That fixed it. I'm not restarting anything. I only have 90 minutes today. So we better get, <laughs> so we better get started now. All right, let's, talk, let's go ahead and turn on to the console, shall we? My 19-inch red, green, blue television. We're at the Marius Zone. That's where we're going to start. And what happens here is that uh, we have to go find a red dragon in his cave. But we have to find a way to get there first because I have yet to find the entrance. So let's go ahead and hit A. We're going to load the data. Maybe some of I accidentally hit delete. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesomely bad. All right, there we are. As you can see, we have happy map music. Everyone's happy. What happened was that we've we've witnessed the murder of the white dragon. That's bad. His name is Quark, and he was killed by our hero, um, Magic Emperor. Now, Galen. Galen. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can find a way to get to this area down here. There's a thing to restore my HP. Do that just for the hell of it. And this is the Althena Shrine. Now let's see how we are as far as stats. We should be pretty much maximized. Yeah, so we won't really need to go see any... Well, no, 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 no. Kyle has three missing MP points because he went up a level and we didn't do anything about that. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to stay and rest. Okay. And now we feel as good as new. Fantastic. All right, so let's get the hell out of here. And we got battles. Okay, so... Uh, if, you haven't, if you haven't seen this game before, it's a typical turn-based RPG, except your position on the grid here is very important as far as your attacks are concerned. Now, Null here is our um, analyst, and he's going to tell us that these are skullfish and scorpions, easy pickings, and he lies through his teeth because we probably will get our ass handed to ourselves. And remember, the pin question for today is, what RPG did you put the most hours into? It could be any RPG, whether it be a Japanese one, a computer one, a strategy game, if you want to go that far. Um, MMO, it doesn't matter. Okay, so, easy pickings, huh? We'll see about that. Okay, so we got scorpions and fishies. I wonder... Hmm, we're going to go... No, yes, that one. We're going to pick that one. And he is nothing but attack, so because he has very he only has skill. We're actually gonna use magic with uh, Nash here. We're gonna throw a thunder bomb out. And Mia, she's kinda like lacking in strength, so we're gonna actually use magic with her as well. And we're gonna throw a flamer. Ooh, I'd love to throw a tornado, but that takes a lot of magic. And uh, this is Jessica, she's our healer, so she's gonna throw some calm litany litany, because I will get attacked. And possibly even poisoned. Ooh. Okay, good. Good out of turn. And there's your poison. No. They're not immune to magic. Cool. Alright, so. Uh, Alex, that's our hero. He did not get poisoned, so that's good. And Kyle, we're going to have him go for the scorpion. Nash are going to do a regular attack this time. Now, one big peeve I have about this game is that it remembers the last thing you did. And so, therefore, if you uh, did nothing but run, that means you're going to escape battle. Uh, it's going to remember that. And if you accidentally hit it again, I've done that. Uh, well, it kind of makes for a rather unexciting thing. Magic? Yeah, flamer. And magic. Come uh, on, why not? Oh, thank you, Jessica. Well out of turn. Okay. Ah. Everyone went out of turn. And that's basically how you play. So in other words, your position on the grid determines whether you can actually uh, hit the bad guys. And uh, each player moves a little differently. Some move one space, space rather, two spaces, sometimes even three spaces, and can attack more than once like Kyle just did. Okay, so we won the battle. We received 148 big silver. And everyone gained 78 points. Alex just gained the level. And a bright blast spell. We've got to check that out. Kyle gained 78 points. Nash gained 78 points. Mia and Jessica. Okay, so. Got to find the entrance to that. That is the volcano. We have 
the rain cloud. Now, let's see here. Before I do anything, let's use an item. Now, the rain cloud is, I believe, this thing over here? No, that's a minutes. Min min that's essence. Blah. There it is. Oh, can't use it. Fortunately, it stays in our inventory. And like some of the other games, where if you misuse an item in your inventory, well, SOL, it sucks to be you. And you actually lose the damn thing. Crystallis was like that. Fatal Labyrinth was like that, too. Drove me up the wall. Okay, get down here. Can't get down here. Maybe you can't go up there. Can. But there's a whole lot of nothing. That's just an invitation for a battle. There we go. Speaking of which. Alrighty. Null says that these are death mutts. Or watch this one. Okay. Yeah, they take a full four hits on average. And I think they're pretty resistant to magic. So we're just going to have everyone do their attacky tack. Including Mia, which we got her be useless. All right, cool. Everyone go. One, two. Oh. Oh. So he's only 140 points. Okay. Okay, so Alex is going to get hit. Yep. He also got shoved back a bit. So in other words, that's a powerful hit. And if you sustain a few of those, you can actually get pushed back, which makes you now have to walk even further to go ahead and attack. I just read that. I, okay, I'll just imagine the rich techno chicken dance in my head, man. Yeah, sorry about that. It's one of those days. Something wants to load, something that I'm happy this thing even loaded in the first place. All right, going back to attack. Everyone's attacking. There you go. Okay, that was anticlimactic, but that's fine. I'll take it. Not much in the money department, but pretty good in the experience department. Okay. Warhogs. And bats. Alright, so we're just gonna go straight out of attack this time. We're all gonna have to attack the same one. That's one, that's two. Yeah. Alex now gonna have a chance at one. See, I see a bit of a grave error here because I left all those bats there and they can move quite a bit, but they don't really seem to hit a whole lot. Okay. Okay, Alex seems to be the punch magnet. That happens. I'm going to continue with this rather lame strategy of mine. There we go. You should turn around. Perfect. Alrighty. Not too bad. A lot of money with that one, though, for some strange reason. And moderate experience. I'll take it. Go up here. Oh, dead end. Hmm. Alrighty, we got nothing but bats now. Fantastic. Well, eh, might as well just have them all go for that one. Why not? Okay, there's one, two, go Kyle, three, four, and that's pretty much gonna be it there. Okay, and we got one, that didn't do anything. And there goes Agnes. I'm gonna have to pause the game for just a quick second. I uh, hear a little bit of turmoil outside this room, so stand by for just a moment. Uh, please stand by. And that has its own special screen, and I hope you all enjoy it. I haven't run it in a while. Okay, go back. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and run back into the doohickey. And turn that, put back on the television. Now, I may have to stop stream again uh, if the uh, what goes on in the background continues. Talk to all the NPCs until you find the cave. Okay, I'll do that. 
I do allow back seating, by the way, so if you have any suggestions and any uh, hints on how to play the game, that's fine. I haven't played this game literally in probably about 20 years. And I'm talking about the PlayStation version. This is the original Sega CD version, so this one even goes back further. For me, anyway. This is a 30-year-old game, for crying out loud. All right, and let's go ahead and continue on. Actually, you know what? Back up. I'm going to have him attack that one. Now I'll have everyone attack the other ones. All right, Alex, go. There you go. Get rid of him. Get rid of him, Kyle. Bad timing there, Jessica. Perfect. 251 silver. The bats are the ones that have all the money. But of course they would. They're batty. <laughs> uh, let's see. As far as experience, kind of slim. Oh, but me again a level. And so did Jessica. No extra spells. Okay, that is the Nanza barrier. Let's go back to the town. According to Vin, talk all to all the peoples. Ooh, okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and attack the green gorillas. I'm going to probably make a bit of an error here. Yep. Oh, good. He's taking care of those. And the way this game works out, if uh, the target that you've decided to go and whack uh, has disappeared, it'll go by to the nearest one. Oh, at that point. Okay, you... And you yeah, nope, you're gonna get you. And we're all gonna go for someone different since they've all attacked something. Love well, when the game update decides to cause the rest of the programs to freeze. Indeed. Indeed. It's just a bad update. Remember, we have uh, strange definitions here in my channel. If it's something that is predictable, well, let me uh, flip it around. If it's something that's sporadic, you know, didn't see it coming, you don't know of it, that's a glitch. Okay, they're unpredictable. Had to restart, oh no. Now, if it's something that is predictable, in other words, uh, it's going to be the same result over and over again, even if it's a bad outcome, that's still a feature. It's just a rotten feature. Feature nonetheless. Alrighty. We're actually going to use some magic. But we're going to have Mia do the magic. We're going to still have Alex do all the attacking. We have him attack that one. And Kyle, and you, Nash, you're going to throw a Thunder Bomb. And you, Mia, you're going to throw some Flamer. And once again, Jessica is calm litening. Okay. Good. Now it's just a gorilla. See if they are resistant to this. They're not. Perfect. A perfect round. With lots of money and lots of experience. I'll take it. Okay. Okay, I'm getting lost. So, uh, let's use my item. We're going to use some dragon wings. Which is... Not on him or her or her, but him. Right. You can actually use an item in your personal inventory as opposed to the general inventory. That keeps... Uh, you want to keep as many things here as, as you can. Because that kind of frees up this room here. So, dragon wings. Okay. Last place we were at was at Myriad, so I think we'll start there. And like that, they're whisked away to that particular town. Any town you run into will now appear on this list. Has it fixed the bridge? It didn't fix the fuck, 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 fuck. Didn't fix the bridge. Okay, let's go talk to him. Okay, so all our weight collapsed this bridge. This is kind of a, a podunk town, if you will. That's made of nothing but, well, as you can see here, you know, docks and pathways and stuff like that. So, having said that, uh, there's a carpenter here that said he's going to fix the bridge. And I don't believe he has because there's still that gaping hole. And there he is. Let's talk to him right now. Fix the bridge? Yes. Oh, that's right. This is, uh, is kind of like Hooterville. Fix the bridge? Oh, yeah. Y'all come here. They buy it here the other day. I said I'd fix it, didn't I? Well, I must be getting seen now. I plumb forgot. I'll fix it tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Damnation, are you bothering me again? I said I'll fix the bridge tomorrow? Fine. Fix the frickin' bridge tomorrow. In the meantime, we can't cross over this particular body of water until he fixes the frickin' bridge. Hmm.
And as you can see, everything is a clear, straight path. All right, so. Fortunately, also, using dragon wings, there's, there's a body of water in question. Okay, so, fortunately, using dragon wings does not take up any magic or anything either. So, once again, let's go over to Alex this time. Go back to item. Go back to his wings. I'm going to go to Rizzo. I'll turn that up. Each town has its own colorful charm. This one here is a bit woodsy. Okay. This is Riza. <laughs> okay. This is a town of thieves, by the way. So, you are able to get into the thieves bazaar. Yeah, we did. What do you think? Wasn't it the greatest? Sure wasn't. Wow, I can't get over how pretty this what a pretty kitty this is. But you're not laying a hand on me. I don't need the stuffing squeezed out of me. It makes it now all attractive to women. I just can't figure it out. Maybe he's not a jerk. Okay, so what do you think of my wife over there? She's the sweetest thing you ever saw. I met her when I stole something of hers a long time ago. Her heart. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so. Hmm. Nobody really has anything to contribute as far as getting into the lava doohickey. We may have to go to another town. Item? Maybe it's Iluk. Remember, the object here is to get into the Red Dragon's Cave. Okay, we talked to the old man that was in here. Let's see what he has to say now. So, we, what do you want? Okay, we were in the right spot. What do you want to know about the, uh, the... You want to know the way to the Red Dragon. I can read. Someone has to know where to go. Exactly. Exactly. Then. Well, this his cave is at the base of the volcano to the south. Yeah, we saw that. But the entrance is blocked by a lava flow. Okay. But we tried using the rain cloud. Actually, we should have talked to him more than once. Yeah, did it. He passed lava flow at the Red Dragon. Used the spirit. Okay. Hmm. Used the spirit. That would be the rain cloud in question. I accidentally hit the button far too many times. Get past lava flow. Use the spirit. Okay. Hmm. I luck people from the south say we're reason we're all we're all fruitcakes. But who are they to judge? Nothing wrong with them. I've heard reports of their vile tribe touring torturing people through the east of here. If you're looking for Zenobia, chances are she's with them. Well, we tried to go over there, but we kind of broke a bridge. And the guy won't fix it. So, you met the harmless kook inventor? Isn't he a screen? Oh, man, oh, man. I could tell you stories. Hmm. Now, like, we have all sorts of artistic types that are outcasts elsewhere. In fact, we got a man that's making some sort of flying machine. Actually, we saw that. Yeah, rubber room. Okay, good. Can we get in? Can we get in? Can we... No, we can't get in. There's the, there is the hot air balloon itself. We can't get in there. What about you? Have you heard of the inventor Mike? He's my mentor. Right now, I'm working on a hot air balloon. Yeah, we want to see that. Mike gave me the idea. If it works, it should fly. Flying machine will be finished very soon. Do you still want to fly it? Yeah. He won't let us in. You're standing there just out of nowhere. Have you met the guy in this house? He's the biggest liar in Iluck. He keeps saying he's a daemon. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh. Damon, the esteemed keeper of the world's collective knowledge, stands before you, ignorant fools. On what matter can I enlighten you? All right. Tell me about Galen. Galen? Uh, Galen? Why, why Galen? Ask me something else. Hmm. Damon, the esteemed keeper of the world's collective knowledge, stands before... Oh, yeah, you already went all that. Tell me about Luna. Luna is a red fruit found on the prairies. It's super delicious. Yeah, Lunar is the girl who was kidnapped from our party. Okay, so this is no good. Alright, so... Talk to the all the NPCs. We have been doing that. Okay. All kinds of outcasts, all kinds of weird people. I'm for that. And we already talked to him. Back at PC? Okay. Frontier! Ah, there we go. Hey! 
Why would you want to go to the frontier? It's so far east. Yeah, we tried that, though, but we... Oh, forget it. Nobody listens. You're the most delicious-looking things I've seen in the millennium. Oh, just wait till you see how bad I can really be, honey bomb. Cal, you're the biggest lek ever. Why do I even try? Not too often you get to see a word like lek in a role-playing game. Just saying. Okay. okay. Further down south, once again, we can, we can run into this post. Hey. Well, you all have to be attacking me. Fine. Two, three... You know, we gotta watch Jessica's magic. I just saw that it's only at 45. That's not terrible. No, one hit. Lovely. Okay, let's get some. Ah. Flamer, maybe? Here we go. Perfect. Oh, the bat remains. Well, that won't be. That won't be for long. There you go. Okay, one hit. Lots and lots of money. I love it. As we continue to go down here, it's now here we're trapped. Can't go down further south. Maybe around the mountain range, perhaps? Oh, okay. Further down. Further down. Oh, okay, run up. Nah. Oh, it's one of those where we're all surrounded. Not good. Okay, so uh, we're just going to have... Mm -hmm. Hmm. We'll attack that one. And we'll attack that one. And, oh, that'd be perfect. And this would be perfect. And... Yeah, we got plenty of magic spheres, so we can do that. Okay. Alex goes after that one. Now he's run out of room. Jessica doesn't even get to... Oh, she does! Uh-oh. But the other three get to make their move. Gonna hit Mia. Gonna hit Nash. Gonna hit Jessica. Hmm. That could have gone a bit better. I have to admit. Oh, there you go. And we'll have him attack that one too, even though he probably won't make it. But that will. And that will. And. Hmm. One. Okay. Two. Oh, he made it to one. And he actually did make it. Wow, he can actually travel more than three spaces, it looks like. Cool. Alright, first things first. We've got to restore Jessica. She's woefully low in magic. And we can do that one of two ways. We can use the item that's here in her satchel, but that's good for battles. Use an air fryer now, and my house smells like something is burning. Thanks, hot air. That's what it does. Hot air does have an odor to it sometimes. Especially if you're frying stuff. As I said, we could use this one, but this is good for battle. So we keep these here. We're just instead we'll use these, and we're gonna have her get that. And that should put her up right. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Continue down our little trek. Okay. Hmm. And we ran into this thing before. It looks like a giant pine cone. Last time I happened, my GB caught my GP caught fire. And so it smells like that makes me nervous. Oh, wow. Your GPU? Yeah, that would make me nervous, too. They smell quite acrid. Okay, so... Can't get around there. But to find a way to get to that... I believe that's the path, that's the way, but... Not really... That's good. We can use that. Ooh, okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, why not? Why not? Live dangerously. Or something. Hey. Okay. Okay, the Warthog kind of a bit resistant to that magic. Packs a pretty good punch, too. Uh, Alex and Kyle are going to go first, regardless. There goes Jessica. Ah. Not quite according to plan, but hey, I'll take 119. Not too bad. Loads of experience. Nas got nothing. Okay. 
Hmm. Well, I can go this way. But that's it. Hmm. Okay. Dee -dee -dee. Well, they're all close company there. All right. That's a good place. And we'll just go ahead and do that. All of these are not magic resistant, which is good. Wow. Just throw them away there. One, two. Okay. Minor hit. Minor hit. There they go. That should take care of that. Everyone got their turn. Oh, no, the bats remain. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, well, that will be this. And let's go. Okay. Yeah, the bats are loaded with money. That's really strange. I'm going the wrong way. I have, I have to know. If you notice in the towns here, there are no inns or anything like that, too. So, uh, you can't just simply go into a room and heal up. It doesn't work that way around here. My family has been living in Reza since the days of prison labor camp. We have a strong love of freedom now because we know what, what confinement feels like. Hmm. You can't go in the doors that are closed. And we have, like, anti-TARDIS technology. You notice that the buildings are humongous, but the rooms aren't. Wow, I can't get... Okay, we... Yeah, we saw that. Okay, yeah, great. Hmm. Okay, as we head out of town, that's Riza. Oh, I just had a bad idea. Probably not going to work, so we're going to just go ahead and run. Okay. Now I gotta be super careful because we'll do that again. Let's head back to Iluck. Hit. Thank you. Wrong person. There we go. We're gonna go and use our magic wings. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm gonna go back down. Well, we might just go back down. Just go ahead and run anyway. Okay. Really? Okay. Ah, we're gonna attack this time. Why not? And of course it'll be that one. So let's all attack this one over here, because we're gonna do it rather stupidly. Yep, there. Thank you, Kyle, for wasting your turn. Well, that is my own doing, I have to admit. Okay. It's amazing the bats will survive that. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. Now they should have enough room to go ahead and get rid of the rest of them. There it goes, right there. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Kyle, you got a sidestep spell. Okay, he has skill as opposed to magic. That ought to be interesting. You know what? We're going to go visit the Athena Shrine. And I'm going to rest. So that's how you uh, literally keep your energy up. No, get back down there. Uh, you'll see various posts, whether they be like a battery post or a stalagmite. Uh, like this one that restores your HP. And the stalagmite restores your magic. We have all the way around there. I forgot about that. And like, I love how, how it loves to hung, hug around the, uh, the mountains and such. Okay, let's go ahead and attack. As good as any. We're going to get slightly beat up here. That's fine. Doesn't go after the gorilla. No, it goes after the warthog. Because, of course. Warthog does have magic resistance. That's not bad. It's going to be a lot worse than I thought. But actually, this is better than I thought. No, no, no. Yeah, you're not going to go first. Okay. There you go. 
121 and 74 each. Okay, coming back down around. And the encounter rate, I have to admit, is pretty high for this game. Now, there was a role-playing game that I played on a PlayStation. In fact, it was the first role-playing game that came out for it. Um, believe it or not, PlayStation, uh, Sony had a rule, no 2D uh, anything for a while, which was kind of strange. Most role-playing games at the time were. This game is called Beyond the Beyond. And the encounter rate of that you know, for battling was just so outrageous. And some of the mechanics of the game were just so bad that I actually gave up on the game. Like, I can't play this. <laughs> I had cursed armor. The only way you can get the cursed armor off, you have to go and have somebody remove the curse. Well, you had to go into town. I couldn't get into town because my encounter rate was so freaking high that it was absolutely pointless. Take care of that one. Okay. Interesting. The Warhog's gonna is going to survive this. And he did. Ooh, bad. Anyway, um, one thing PlayStation actually had, and which is kind of strange because one of the launch titles was NBA Jam. But they had another version for, for 2D. They wanted, remember this was the first 3D dedicated console engine. And uh, they wanted 3D games. Okay. Here we are. Maybe if I use a rain cloud here. Maybe. Maybe. Nope. Didn't wake. All right. Prison key obviously won't do it. Magic hand, I'm not sure about. Can't use the magic hand. Okay. Hmm. Going through the rest of my little arsenal here, we have a Dobernut, a Thief's Crest, okay, now Kana Nut, Thunder Essence, we've got a pair of those. Nothing that really strikes out as something that would make this thing move or us being able to access it. Oh, maybe this. Yes, he carries around his harp, and it does absolutely nothing. Now it's not even talking about this, which kind of worries me. But I suspect this is the way to get to the, uh, the volcano. And of course, just trying to get out of here. So the pin question of the day is, what role-playing game have you put the most time into? And my game, I have to admit, is close between uh, Kingdom Hearts for PlayStation 2 and, believe it or not, Final Fantasy X. And close to Final Fantasy X would also be Final Fantasy IX. I threw a lot of time into that game. I absolutely love IX. Uh, not Seven. Seven, I just kind of went straight on through it without uh, too many um, side, side quests or anything like that. I also put a lot of time in Chrono Trigger. And considering I actually uh, got to all the endings in Chrono Trigger, and yet I still put more time into Kingdom Hearts in 10 and 9. That uh, tells you how much time I put into those games. Uh, put in about almost 300 hours. Good, I can use that. Into... Uh, into uh, Kingdom Hearts. All right, we're just gonna run. Perfect. And we're gonna run again. Love that sound. <laughs> really? Hmm. Eh, let's attack. Hmm. I'm kind of hoping my chicken dance would have worked, but that's all right. It's okay. It'll be up next time. So we're working on upgrading my computer. Should be fine. Uh, my brother's doing that for me. It's my birthday month. And I'm at the age where, you know, I, I, I see people 
people are a bit younger than me and say, oh, I'm going to celebrate the entire week or I'm going to celebrate the entire month. And I'm like, I'm just celebrating the day? Am I that old-fashioned? Is that an old-fashioned thing? I don't know. Because I have to admit, I, I worked with a gentleman who was quite a bit younger than me. In fact, he pretty much the age where when I started working where I work now. Because I've been doing my job there now for 19 years. And he's a bit young. It's like, oh, what are you going to do for your birthday? Oh, I'm going to take the entire week off. I'm going to do this, that, and the other thing. I think, how old are you? <laughs> oh, I'm 34. I'm like, oh, good. I, did you do that kind of stuff when you were 34? No, I didn't do that kind of stuff when I was 34. I'm, I guess I'm from a different era. I don't know. Anthem is considered an MMORPG. Does that count? It does. Any RPG. I was not specific as to the style of RPG. That counts. Okay. Anthem. No, I've seen you. Uh, yeah, I believe that. <laughs> I believe that. I, you know what? Honestly, you know, EverQuest, if you remember back in those days, and even the Dreaded. Well, I can't see Dreaded because I played it. Ultima Online. Uh, I know people put tons of time and sold their accounts and made ridiculous amounts of money like a, a fellow store manager of mine did <clears throat> not that I did that oh thank you Mia what do you get this time nothing like I said my oh hello we were not here before this is new this is the spring of the goddess Althena if you enter its soothing waters, you can purify your soul. Do you want to? <laughs> ask, ask me twice. Wait, you don't have any... What? You don't have any soap? You must have soap to enter the spring. You better go find some. Are you kidding me? What if I just want to go in? No, no. Ah. Soap, huh? I have to find... I have to find soap. So, our filthy carcasses can't go into that purifying water. Really? Hmm. What's that, Vin? It says, Thus, real world trading became against the rules. Yes, yeah, it did. Um, oh, we, the, we, we discovered, thanks to games like Ultima Online, the early days of this kind of stuff. Um, you know, we got to introduce the term PKR, which is player killer. And they, you know, banished us to a realm where we just kind of go attack each other. That was a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> but, like I said, for me, on role-playing, I'm more traditionally on the video, on the uh, console role-playing game. But, like I said, role-playing games are role-playing games. I wasn't specific as to the type. But I have to admit, I wasted many an hour. I, I used wasted rather comically. Um... Fortunately, I was out of school for all this, uh, <laughs> with uh, with a couple of exceptions. Uh, for Stalus, I was still in high school when that came out. That came out back in 1988. Uh, Star Tropics, I believe, came out in 1990, and I was just about to graduate. And I put in a, quite, quite a few hours in those. But those, remember, those games are quite small in comparison to the stuff that's out there now. Uh, this game is 30 years old, but this game is somewhat massive because it was one of the earliest examples of a role-playing game that was on a CD. Remember, this is Sega CD, so... Why am I using... I don't know. Oh, good job, Jessica. Gotta get her another spear. Okay, that did nothing. Fantastic. Alright, we're attacking. Screw you all. Oh, Jessica, bad timing. Okay, gotta get you another starlight. Or silver light. Okay, let's go through the items. And we'll just pluck one out here. To, to Jessica. Okay, and let's see, did that put her back in the hundreds? Not, not quite, that's fine. Perfect. Okay. That restores our HP, as I said before. Really? Eh, you know what? Screw this. We're going to run. We're now faster than the bats. I'm pretty happy about that, actually. Let me go up here. 
I'm going pretty far north. I don't think we've been this far north. In fact, I want to continue. No, no. Yeah, about to say. Really? Oh, okay. Have you fixed the frickin' bridge? It's important, damn it. No, we haven't fixed the frickin' bridge. Frickin', 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 frickin'. We're gonna, we're gonna have to, like, threaten him. As you see, the path is straight right through. Okay, there he is. Fix the bridge. Yeah, you didn't. I forgot. Yeah, you didn't fix it tomorrow. Damnation. Okay, we're just going to keep keep talking. Then. <laughs> nope, not doing a thing. Hmm. Magic hands, huh? Okay, so no dice there. Can't just go up here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so two goals then. Find a way to use the rain cloud to get to the lava. Try to get that pine cone looking thing. I believe that takes us to the entrance of the volcano. But I just got to figure out how. We're about to come up to the second half. In fact, we're already at the second half of the stream. This is a 90 minute stream. So hang on for just a second. I'm going to actually put us on it. I'm going to put us on a two minute ad break. Uh, that'll take us into the 55 minutes, and then we'll continue on and finish up tonight. Back in a bit. Stand by. Let's get back to the game. Alright. So the carpenter still hasn't fixed the frickin' bridge. That's fine. He'll show us. Alright, so. This is the town of Mirad. 
So let's go back and use our dragon wings. I'm tired of kind of like fighting everything all at once. Uh, we're going to go back. We're going to refill some of the items that we use here. So we're actually going to use our dragon wings. We're going to go to Moribia, where there is a magic, um, well, magic lane, if you will. We can actually buy magic crap. Unfortunately, the place was overrun previously by monsters. So that's why the music is just so absolutely chill here. Everyone's in a good mood. Oh, that. Yeah. It doesn't seem to affect this place, which is fine. Quite the stark contrast. Let's go over here and buy some stuff. Okay, so star lights are good, but silver lights are better. That's why it costs more. And let's see. Let's get a third one for good measure. I don't want to get too many. Okay, we're now outside of a building. We can use our dragon wings again. Assuming the C button actually works. Alright. I'm using an old Sega Genesis controller. And it's really starting to show its age on some of these buttons here. Uh, let's see. I look... What do you guys tell me what to do? As opposed to Risa. Okay. Yep, there we are. And just for good measure, we're just gonna run. Nope, gotta go around the mountains. Down here. We're not even bothering with the soap. It can't go there. We're gonna try this one more time. Okay, let's get my harp ready. That's magic, stupid. Right. Nothing happens. If I recall correctly, this is supposed to have been a turtle. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, now. Nope. Did it again. Good job. Hmm. 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 Of course. Alright. We're gonna attack this one. Okay, and let's go. Yeah. We're out of room. Go, Kyle. Got one. Good. Hey, the batch of you. Nope. See how the fire goes. There you go. Oh, bats survive. Go after Mia. Go after Mia again. One other thing I want to mention, the body language of the, your attackers also can change. And they, if it does, that's not a good sign. That means they're about to whomp your ass. So, having said that, they have remained the same. It's all doing the same thing. So that's good. Alex, I don't think it's going to make it. Don't matter. Okay. Got, got all our money back, it seems. Hmm. Interesting. Over here? Maybe the music's too loud. <laughs> wow, okay, so what's supposed to happen is that my harp is supposed to wake up this turtle. But, so I must be, must have not done something. And Macy is jumping all over the place behind me. That's fantastic. Somebody, something's got her attention. All right, go back to the volcano. I hate for this stream to be an exercise in futility, but we want to get that bridge fixed at some point. Okay, we're going to attack. Because next to this battle, there is a HP recharger. Take to care of that. Okay, the magic's going to absolutely do nothing. 
No, it actually did do something. But not there. Ooh, boarding. Okay. Okay, cool. Nash! Thundershot 2 spell. Okay. Okay. Got all of our HP back. Okay, now. There's the volcano. Tried using this before, but I believe we have to actually be at the entrance. Just being close proximity as such. Uh, well, it didn't work out too well. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So we've talked to everyone. I guess... Well, that's I look. I've already talked to the inventor. I guess we're going to... Well, you know what? We're going to use the ma we're gonna use our magic wings. Dragon wings, excuse me. Let's head back to Riza. We're going to go back to the town tavern where everyone's up to no good. In fact, that's where we got all of our stuff still in it. We're going to go to the top floor. Something ain't right. Back there it is. Okay, well, Lakey's gone. Lakey's gone. Lakey was a gentleman that was standing right here. Go over behind the bars, the leader of the Thieves Guild. Yeah, we know. He gave us our crest. Good job, lad. Now you're a full member. You'll have full authority to roam, blah, blah, blah. Just remember, first rule. There are no rules. Okay, so... I'm going to go into this room here. Which will take us to this path here. Okay. Yeah, he seems to have disappeared. Yeah, we already saw all that. Okay. Well, here's the deal. We're going to go and scour from town to town. Looking for the guy named Lakey. He seems to know a lot about Dragon Master. Former dra dra uh, Dragon Master Dine. Unfortunately, Dine perished in battle. Trying to save the world. And forget the entrance, we're just going to go right through the trees. Perfect. Alright, so. Let's, let's start from the very beginning, shall we? That would be Berg. Now, Berg is our hometown, and unfortunately, all the people have been kidnapped with a happy, happy, happy music. So you go into the house, nobody's in there. Again, anti-TARDIS technology. Nope, nobody there. Let's say, Dine is going to be anywhere. Be near the house, and the house was across this bridge. Unfortunately, our parents turned out to be demons, and nobody's inside. Um, now it's funny. This is like TARDIS technology. Itty bitty house and humongous interior. Nobody in here. All right. If this didn't work out, that's fine. Next town. Safe. He might be here. Settle down, guys. <laughs> if, you if you haven't seen the stream before, I have two dogs. Uh, one's a puppy in comparison to the other. Puppy would be um, Macy. She's our German Shepherd. She's about two years old, so she's coming into adulthood. As for the other one, that would be Dusty. That would be the Dusty counter. You see there, he stops stream from time to time. And uh, nobody did that. Yeah, he, she did. I don't see Dine anywhere. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, that's not him. Kind of hard to miss. I don't see him. Might be near the weird woods, though. Master Galen, yeah, I wish I could 
be the next Dragon Master and save our skins? Me too. That kind of takes the story out of my hands, and then you wind up playing the game, and that, that wouldn't be fun. All right. Yeah, that's the lighthouse. Lighthouse works. We restored that. It's full of monsters, because why not? No, weird Woods. That's where we first met Dine, as a matter of fact. These are easy pickings, so let's go ahead and attack. Throwing everything we got. There's a stalagmite nearby. We'll take advantage of that. Oh, that's a bit of an overkill, if anything. Oh, yeah. That's a thunder bomb. Holy cow. That used a lot of his magic, too. So we won't be using that again, because I forgot it. Whenever you receive a new magic spell, it's going to default to that first. So uh, we just won't use that. Hmm? In fact, everyone's just going to attack going forth. Yep, get off that. And you, too. And even you, because these won't be much of a threat. Wow. Can we make it to the next one? No, we can't. Okay, so a little bit of hurt there. That's fine. Okay, like I said, not too much of anything. Very slim pickings as far as experience and money. Hmm. Told Dine everything that we know. Like I said, something seems to be amiss. Oh, we actually got poison. Okay. Because our harp is supposed to wake up the turtle, but something we must be missing something in the story element. Really? Take two steps, boom. Try this again. Okay. Uh huh. And yeah, poison is hit and miss with these. You might get poison. Oh, even Jessica got into the action with her claw there. Excellent. She rarely ever goes into battle. And yeah, that is the lumberjack. And for whatever reason, it stopped the music. Oh, no, that's the, uh. Killed the white dragon? Yep, okay. Yes, you did. You're the you're the fortune reader person. Okay, the dogs are getting to a playful mood back behind me. You can hear somebody yelling. This is always a good thing. Yeah, we also have we also have a couple of shih tzus in the house, um, which of course are rather small. And uh, well, they th they th seem to think they're as big as the, the the other two dogs now both <laughs> both Macy and um, Dusty they are in excess of 80 pounds so they're both large dogs by weight and little Shih Tzus are in the 25 pound category which make them small dogs I don't think it would be to their advantage to play that way that's me But what do I know? Nothing as usual. Okay. Well, he's going to attack one of us, yep. Okay. Just gain our one points back. Can't go that way. Come on, Dying. Where the hell are you? Poison Kyle, and he gets another point. Now, when you're poisoned, you get start off with one point, which will then double each round. So then it becomes 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. And that adds up tremendously as the battle continues. Okay, you know what? Really? Okay. I gotta remember to take it off of run. Wouldn't even let me hit that. Wow, okay.
Hmm. And he has enough room to make that last attack. Excellent. Might as well. That's where we were. <laughs> As I try to enter into town, no, I have to go in the frickin' battle. You know what? I'll show you. There we go. That would be back to here. It's safe. All right, so, item. Don't want to go too far. There's Moribia. Now, we were in Moribia before when we bought some magic stuff. So we're just going to head up and out as such. Wow. We're going to be attacked by bushes. And the dreaded bat over there. Now, they can actually hit pretty good there. But they won't have the opportunity, it seems. Okay. Try it again. And we got some blades, and we got some bat. My sinuses are killing me. <laughs> Wherever you are, I hope the weather is better than it is here. I just looked at the time. I only have 17 minutes left. I was hoping to actually advance the story just a bit. But for whatever reason, I cannot advance the story, even with the stupid harp, even with that stupid turtle. So I must be missing something, so I may actually have to look something up. I haven't done that yet in this game. Yet. I took the long route. Hmm. The problem is that we're nowhere near the weird woods. And we got some rather eager flies over there, it seems. Which remains. Okay. Not much of an attack. That's fine. Okay, cool. What's going on in our area? Well, we had a cold front come down today. And unfortunately, cold front just kind of like, you know, dumped very mild streams of rain. And the temperature fell down about 15 degrees. And uh, it kind of kicked up a lot of crap that's on the ground. So it's kind of like Sinus City, if you will. I have to admit, I, I checked to see if I had a fever or anything like that, and I don't. But... Um, it's just making my nose just go bleh. I hate that. Especially on a Monday, you know? The last thing I want to do is feel like crap on a Monday. Okay, we are in Murabia. Althena Shrine. Vane is up top. Can't do that. Nanza's there. But it has to be by safe. So what we're looking for, again, we're looking for the weird woods. Let's go back. Okay, back up here. Let's get out. Thanks for the bits, by the way, Skrull. I appreciate that. And by the way, if you haven't checked out Skrullix 7's stream, he plays a lot of... Hello there. Yes, I hear you, Dust. With a Warframe. Amongst other things as well, it's a lot of fun. He gets a lot of people to play with him, too. <coughs> yes, I hear you, buddy. <coughs> yeah, hey, buddy. <coughs> yeah? Yeah, you know, and you, know you, you see me sitting here talking to the microphone... And, yeah. And the, you take this opportunity, not before, no. You have to do it right during stream. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, buddy. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, well, we're going to let that second. That's the secret to comedy is timing. Absolutely. Okay, so that puts a big old one there in the dusty counter. And like I said, time is a bit limited, so I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. And, uh, well, it'll be an opportunity to run like a one-minute ad. So hang on for just one second there. I'm going to hit the button that says pause. I'm going to hear my rotten idiots at work theme. And, uh, well, back in a minute.
Alrighty. That was fun. Just lost the volume control. There it goes. Alright, let's turn back on to the console. Let's see. Eight threes. Excellent. And there's no music. What happened? You happened. Okay. The magic of technology. Hmm. I'm across the bridge that's up here. That's why we're going the wrong way. Okay, Weird Woods. Oh, we've got Beatles. The Beatles, ladies and gentlemen. But they're not as talented. That's the one thing I got my brother into. Uh, I listened to a great deal of music back in my youth. And my brother had to put up with a lot of, you know, stuff that I liked. Chicago and Hall & Oates, Genesis, that, that thing. Well, I got him to get interested in one band. I figured it's going to be the band to get interested to, not the band. Because there is a band called The Band. Uh, it's called, they're called The Beatles. And I succeeded. He is, dare say, a Beatle expert. Um, I'm quite proud of that too because it's I took a, a course at uh, my college yeah. called the history of rock and roll and I figured this is going to be the easiest effing A I'll ever make in college <laughs> and of course it's an elective who the hell takes that as a major uh, and Beatles got their own chapter and it was absolutely brilliant wonderful course I hope it's still there it's got to remember this we're talking like 30 years ago and what a wonderful subject that was. So you learn like the first rock and roll song was uh, by the Chords called Shaboom. And then the crew, the crew Cuts did a cover of that the same year. I believe that was 1954. And you, you, you learn the origins of you know, rockabilly, uh, you know, a lot of cross genre, wonderful stuff. Like I said, though, if I'm going to get my brother interested in something, it's going to be the Beatles. I can hear that from here. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on for just a second. I hear some strange noises once again behind me. dog is moving furniture <laughs> we have our furniture scattered about in our house right now because of uh well nonetheless it's predicament which is uh unfortunate okay you are all being bastards now just being irritated he actually traversed all the way across the screen fantastic don't suppose, I don't suppose they actually gain moves as they gain experience. That'd be awesome. But I don't remember that playing this game. I don't think that's the case. He's just a badass. As much as I've hydrated, my throat is killing me. There's the stalagmite. That actually is now... Uh, your magic restore, so we're going to actually take advantage of that. Don't need to do that. No, really? You're going to do that kind of crap? Really? 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 Okay. Hmm. Please didn't try to poison me. Well, today's thing is insert your own joke. Uh, this kind of qualifies. We didn't really do a whole lot of anything. Okay, so last time we found him, he was down in here. Not there, because that's a dead end. And we've run into these pesky little fellas before. They're fairly harmless now. They went when we first met them. There he goes. Yeah. 
They didn't have Kyle in the party. Tattered clothes. Who the hell? I guess I guess it must be the green fellas there. Tattered clothes, of course. Why not? <laughs> What's, what's next? Soiled underwear? That'd be great. You received an item. Soiled undies. Dirty socks. Used toilet paper. We've already opened that chest. Go up here? Now, this is where we found them, right here, but he ain't here anymore. If we go up here, there's a house of sorts. He's not in there. Nope, nobody's in here. Well, crap. Okay. All that for nothing. Okay, so we can... <laughs> Where shall we go? The idea is we need to get to that red volcano to stop the lava flow. But everything we've tried so far to do has failed. What I may have to do is do some homework tonight. Actually, i got a couple of nights to do this. So the next stream we'll be doing will be on Thursday. You're probably saying to yourself, well, so what? Actually, me too. Uh, <laughs> we'll see, like I said. But for whatever reason, my harp is not waking up that turtle. So obviously, uh, there's something I did not do. Which kind of sucks. We haven't gone back to Nanza yet. Nanza. What the cart writes. Interior of the continent. Okay. Kyle, this is Kyle's town. He's the, he's pretty much in charge of it. Okay. Go into this anti-Tardis room. Oh, it's actually the right size. Okay. Apologize for a little trouble we had in Riza. Didn't know you. Yeah, you stole our wings, jackass. Schmuck. Idiot. Jerk. Boss, you're back. Great. Okay. Get a grippy fool. I'm just stopping by. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Don't get too excited. You got to abandon this plan to go against Magic Emperor Galen. Yeah, Galen's kind of like the badass right now. Uh, he has an army of bad people. And he's with Zenobia. And it kind of hurt us last time we played. We went in the battle. Dusty, I swear to God. Well... I got a chorus of doggies now. And we went there. We went through the barrier. Okay, so Nanza is not proving to be anything. Okay, dragon wings. We hit land. Land is a fishing town, if I'm not mistaken. Do they have anything to offer other than fishing? Everything's back to normal. No. There was a fake Dragon Master here is what happened. We kind of kicked his ass. Master Galen, what? Yeah, the man in power, blah, blah, blah. The end of our great land. Not too... Hey, we're here to fight for you guys. Girls who sing can be kidnapped. And that's how we lost Luna. Master Galen took Luna away. We actually saw that personally. And it hurt. It hurt badly. Okay. So nothing here. So, like I said, we're, well, you know what? Go back one more time. We're going to take one more stab at it. I'm going to go back to Iluk. This is the next town over anyway. Rather than going through the map, we might as well just, you know, fly there. Okay. Did he change his tune? Okay, the red dragon. Yep, we know about the volcano. We know about the lava. We know that we got to use the red, uh, the rain cloud. Okay, so now we need, we need a to find soap because they're they're prigs over there at the Althena shrine. Okay, my mentor, we need to go get a way to get to that balloon. Nothing is working. Yeah, we do want to fly it. It keeps tracking you to us too. Every time I hit the red button. Uh, the uh, A button, excuse me, red button. Okay, can't get in. And this guy is a useless. All right, well, we have a conundrum. 
Took an hour and a half to figure out nothing. Which is kind of irksome, I have to admit. All right. Well, I tell you what, we're going to do that on Thursday. So we got to a wake up the turtle. That will take us over the volcano. That will literally stop the lava flow because we're going to put a rain cloud over it. You know how effective rain is over lava. Because that will just cool that sucker right on off. Makes perfect sense. It's, it's video game logic. What do you want? What can I tell you? <laughs> makes makes more sense the less I think about it. Actually, let me do this. Let me save real fast. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. No, save. Where am I? I'm still in Murray's zone. Yep. Nothing changed. All right. Yeah, tonight's 90 minute stream. So will be Thursday, by the way. Uh, literally, I sometimes see I'm out on the road. Well, I'm out on the road for real. Uh, traveling around all around South Florida, doing stuff. If you like what you saw, please give me a follow. I greatly would appreciate it. You can also like and subscribe to the content that's on YouTube. Those are my past streams that are no longer here on Twitch. I have an Instagram page of all kinds of crap that I've collected over the last 47 years of gaming. Uh, there's Twitter X, X Twitter, whatever that's called. There's Discord down there, too. I sometimes put some stuff there. I did some cooking this weekend, so I got some pictures of that. that I'll be putting up there. And uh, it's Monday, so let's see. I usually raid a fellow by the name of Dixie Chris. Is he streaming today? Um, Quiet's actually streaming, so hang on for just a second. No, Dixie has some stuff going. Ah, he's he's playing the Mortuary Assistant. Oh, my God. If you ever want to see a jump scare game, this is the game. Right now, it looks like he's in the middle of chat, and a bunch of stickers are pounding his face. So, hey, it's perfect. Good night, Scroll. I'll see you in a little bit on your stream. And uh, if you want to check out a good stream as well, Scroll X7. Uh, like I said, it plays a lot of Warframe. He gets a lot of people playing with him. It's a lot of fun and really fast and furious. So, check that out. And I will see you all next time, Thursday night, 7 p.m. Yep, he is on. Let me go ahead and start raid. That'd be a good thing if I actually, like, you know, hit the raid button. I could actually, like, get things in motion. So I don't stand here and, you know, talk to myself and... Eh, well, you know. It's Monday. We'll see you again Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Bye. Have a good night. See ya. Here comes Chris.